Hi kids, my name is Reed Thompson. I'm a farmer just east of Bloomington in McLean County. And here, what we're standing by is a corn planter. Corn planting season starts about the same time when the soil temperature reaches about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This is usually about the first part of April, and we try to plant all of our corn to have it in the ground by the middle of May, but unfortunately, if the weather is too cool or rainy, we may not finish planting till the early part of June. The corn will emerge approximately 30 to 45 days later. Uh, but before we plant, we will do a little bit of tillage to kind of loosen the soil up and help dry it out. We also apply fertilizer, which helps it grow, much like when you guys eat your vegetables, gives it nutrition and important nutrients to help get it growing and keep it healthy through the season. Once the corn is roughly about six inches tall or so, we will spray um, a crop protectant, which helps keep the plant safe, but also minimize the weeds that are in the cornfield. That way there's no competition for the corn plant as it tries to grow and mature. Okay, so once the corn has reached about head high, about the 4th of July or so, you will start to notice as you drive around tassels. And what the tassel does, this is one of the reproductive parts of the corn plant. And so the tassel will shoot out, and then what it does is it sh sheds the pollen off the corn plant, and it goes from the top of the plant down here to where the ears are, and this is what pollinates the plant. So when the pollen hits these silks, which are usually white or yellow when they're, when they're coming out around the first part of July, these silks, once they're pollinated, will develop kernels. And those kernels, much like you'll see on your sweet corn, are nice golden yellow colored kernels. And what will happen is, with more rain and sunshine, these kernels will get bigger and heavier. So this corn that I'm holding here is what is known as number two corn, which is typically used for commercial purposes. And what I mean by commercial is that it is either fed to livestock, which would be cows, pigs, chickens, or it is ground up for ethanol, which is primarily what a lot of my corn goes to. And there's various types of corn. So this is commercial, but what you guys ate at 4th of July time frame is called sweet corn. And sweet corn is very different from what we are, what we are standing by here today. In fact, it's much shorter and much, much tastier. One thing we try to produce for is large yields. So how do we figure out what yield is? Well, as you can see, there are a lot of kernels on the length, but there's also a lot of kernels around. So what we would do is we would count the number of kernels long, we would break the ear in half, and we would count the number of kernels around. Once we have the number of kernels, we have to figure out how many plants are in an acre. Well, then you're kind of wondering, how, how big is an acre? Well, an acre is about the same size as a football field. So the field we're standing in is about 70 football fields. And every acre, we have planted somewhere between 30 and 40,000 plants per acre. And that's how we figure out yield. So we figure out how many kernels we have, we have, figure out how many ears we have, and then we take that times um, the number of acres that we have to get our total bushels. What I'm holding here is a bushel basket. And this weighs approximately 56 pounds when it's full of corn. And there are roughly 80 to 90,000 kernels of corn in this basket when we've harvested it and dried it down. For our farm, we raise somewhere between 200 and 240 bushels per acre. Corn harvest in Illinois will typically start at the end of August to early September. Harvest will run for about four to six weeks or we'll try to finish about mid-October, depending on the weather. We always hope that we have a long growing season so we can have a bountiful harvest come late September, early October. And so once the corn has been harvested and taken from the combine and put into a semi, we come to a grain bin facility or an elevator, depends on where the farmer wants to market their grain. And then you might be wondering, how do we figure out what the price is? Well, like a lot of you've seen, we have cell phones. And so with the internet, we are able to check our local grain elevators bid for what they're offering on price that day. And how do we know when what price is a good price for us? Well, we have a lot of expenses when growing a corn crop. We have to pay for seed, 
fertilizer, crop protectants, we have to pay for those big green machines you saw me stand in front of, and then we have to pay for labor to help plant the crop, harvest the crop, and keep it healthy during the year. And all those things cost a lot of money. So what our first priority is, is to cover our expenses. So we need enough from our corn, a bushel of corn, to cover those expenses. And once we've had that, we're hoping to make money so that we can make investments in grain bins, in buying new tractors, new computers, new cell phones, things like that. And all that takes additional money over and above what we've made uh, just to cover our, our expenses. The way the market works is it goes from, it can range from $3 a bushel, uh, which it did in late 2020, and then it can go as high as six and a half dollars, which we saw in early 2021. And so to try to manage that risk, farmers will sell not all of their crop at one time, but instead we'll make several sales over that course, uh, over that period of time in order to try to manage our uh, expenses and cover those expenses, but also try to maximize how much we can get for the, the crop we're growing. I grow corn here in Illinois because our soils and climate are well suited for corn production. We are also very fortunate that where we are located in Illinois, we have several types of buyers that can use the corn that we produce. We are also very fortunate here that we have access to several modes of transportation to help get our grain to market. That's either by roads, trains, or barges down our various rivers in the state. 